Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we are going to do something a little bit different. We are going to repot some plants that I've been meaning to repot for a little while now. Um, and I'm gonna do a little Q&A. About a month ago, I had asked you guys on Instagram to ask me a question. People have questions, so I'm gonna answer them. And I have my daughter behind the camera who's gonna read them off to me while we repot. So let's get started. Really quickly, let me show you the plants that we're gonna be doing today. We have this money tree. I mean, why is it called a money tree? Can it grow money? Cause that'd be great. <laughs> Fund my plant addiction, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna repot this because I feel like it's been in here for, I don't know, like six months now. It's my husband's, but we have one size bigger here. Pop it in there. I have my Monstera Deliciosa, which I know is not root bound, but I want to take it out of the soil. It's been in here for going on like eight months maybe. And I want to um, check the root system, give it some fresh soil since it's spring. And I've propagated this thing like three times already and gave it to friends and family. I got her from the Plant Chica on Etsy. Shop her store, cause she's awesome. And then, then I have this. Hello, look at this leaf. If you guys are following me on Instagram, which clearly you are, because that's where these questions are gonna come from today. Um, I got this from a backyard from our Airbnb in New Orleans. And it had two other leaves on there. She stole it. I saved it from the elements. Yeah, no. Um, it had two other leaves growing out of it this way. And they did not make the trip back home. Um, we drove there. If you guys followed our road trip on YouTube, you would have seen that. And this was a baby leaf. It was looking like this when we picked it up and then it opened and luckily I was able to save it thanks to my, my Instagram peeps help because you guys told me to cut off the other leaves so it wasn't putting a lot of energy into those leaves and to keep it in water. Look what happened and look what happened. So I think that this is ready to be repotted. I don't want to wait for these roots to get any bigger or longer because um, it just might be that much harder for it to adapt to the soil. So I'm going to repot it today. These are so healthy and I can't even count how many there are anymore. Last I counted there was like 15 new roots. It's insane. I think we're going to start with the money tree. And we're going to repot it. So here's my pot. Here's my money tree. Um, I am going to be using a mixture of like 25% peat moss just because I had it. Um, organic cactus mix. So it already has some perlite in the soil and then some regular soil. And there's also a little bit of charcoal, activated charcoal in here. Um, and I think that's all I have in here. So, okay. All right, so let's get this baby potted up here. Um, and let's start with our questions from the peanut gallery. First question, Mia. What is your hardest plant to keep alive? Hardest plant to keep alive. Um, I would say probably any fern I've ever had because ferns don't like me. Um, I love them, but I think that they just require so much humidity that my house can't accommodate that. We keep it at like Mm, anywhere from like 30 to 45 percent humidity i have yet to get a humidifier um i was eyeballing this one that um oh that was fabulous it's all over my pants um, i was eyeballing this one that kaylee ellen did a review on um i'll link her page below so you can go check it out it's huge but it's so awesome and it has a huge water reservoir so i was thinking of doing that when i had ferns but and i know a lot of our plants are tropical plants so like they all need a significant amount of humidity but yeah i would say i would say ferns because i haven't had any trouble with like my monstera my alocasia so ferns yeah definitely ferns all right so this clearly is not root bound at all but it's a pretty good root system i'm still gonna go one step bigger with it and put it in this pot 
because I just feel like it's growing like crazy and it'll grow bigger if it's in a bigger size pot. Let's go to the next question, Mia. How did you get into the plant hype? Plant hype, hmm. Well, I've always liked plants. However, I can never keep them alive, which that's everybody's complaint, right? Like, I can't keep a plant alive. So I started with fake plants because I just loved the way that they looked and then there were like no maintenance. And then I got a donkey tail, uh, sedum donkey tail succulent, which I don't know why I would start there. They're harder than most plants. But um, I was able to keep it alive. And I'm like, you know, if I could keep a succulent alive, I'm going to try some other plants. So I've had my donkey tail for about five years, six years now. I can't remember. I lost count. And uh, that is pretty much what got me into it. Then my husband introduced me to YouTube because I'm, you know, stuck in 1997 and I didn't know really all that was involved with YouTube and that like there was this huge plant community on YouTube. So I don't know, I just, I didn't know. Um, and I started watching other people's YouTube channels. I started watching Harley G. She was probably the first one I found. Um, I mean, she could get anybody into plants. If you want my opinion, she's awesome. Um, and then I started watching, who's my second one that got me into the plant hype? De La Plants is awesome too. Sharina, do you like my cactus, Sharina? So I just started watching all these other YouTubers. Oh, Plantarina is one of my favorites too. And when you watch other people on YouTube, I don't know, you just like, they inspire you, you know? Wasn't Garden Answer one of them? Oh yeah, Garden Answer, Garden Answer. You're a huge fan of Garden Answer and actually, Garden Answer is awesome. Um, Laura, she's so, she's, she's, I love her channel. She does a lot of outdoor gardening, which is a huge inspiration to me right now because I know nothing about gardening. So don't take any of my advice on gardening. Um, but she's got a lot of like outdoor planter ideas and like container planting. She's got this huge um, vegetable herb garden that she's doing and it's just, yeah she go if you like outdoor gardening she's the one okay we got her all potted up there we're gonna go into this one since this one will be a little bit easier let me clean this off a little bit oh. hold on i just made it worse okay mia hit it what are you doing for a living what am i doing for a living well I am a wedding photographer, photographer in general, I guess. I do family portraits. I dabble in newborn photography. Well, I do more than dabble in it because I took classes on it because you kind of have to. Um, <sighs> event photography, more so wedding photography and engagement photography. Uh, my husband and I started the business about seven years ago now, six years ago. Gosh, I have such a bad memory. Um, but yeah, that's what I do. So we're home all week and we edit. And that's why I'm able to kind of do this YouTube thing on our downtime. Okay, next question. What is your favorite plant and which plants don't you like? My favorite plant, oh, man. I wanna say like all trailing plants. I have a thing for trailing plants. So like my Simicio, if I'm saying that wrong, my string of bananas, my donkey tail. See, my heart always goes back to my donkey tail. Um, I recently got a Peperomia Ruby, shoot, I can't remember the name. Peperomia Prostrata. Um, What's my other trailing? What are my other trailing ones? Oh, my string of hearts. So I like I like trailing plants. Those are probably my favorite. My least favorite, honestly, I'll probably get a lot of pushback for this. Well, the ferns. Let's circle back to the ferns. I I'm just not. I just can't do them. But I think my least favorite plant I have right now is my phytonia. My finicky phytonia is not growing. I think I need to repotter. 
I see so many people on YouTube and Instagram with these huge Fetonias and these leaves and they're growing and they're trailing. And mine is just like, leaves are like that. She like flops every four days. She's like, feed me. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of her. So I don't know. That's probably my least favorite. All right, she's going in guys. I'm gonna plant her kind of like on a side angle there so she's not like this and like hanging over just because it's more steady. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. She has plenty of room to grow in this terracotta. Same soil that I used before. Maybe I'll do an update too. Okay, Mia, next question. What plant turned you into crazy plant lady? <laughs> um my donkey tail actually no that's a lie i think what really started my addiction was after i got my monstera deliciosa one it was pretty huge on you know social media so i saw it everywhere and i was intrigued and i was like i have to have it now i'm after an adansonii anybody wants to send me a cutting of an adansonii i can't find one um like in my local plant shops they t but it's just the beginning of spring so i might be able to find one but um my monstera deliciosa for sure it's so easy to propagate and it just has not stopped growing since i got it so that's my crazy plant lady plant did you hear that monstera deliciosa do terracotta pots have an advantage over other types of pots like ceramic uh advantage yes in um quite a few ways actually one this is a terracotta they are porous so they one allow more oxygen into the root system and they also help to draw water away from the roots so that the roots aren't sitting in too moist of soil um always get one with a drain hole i don't know if you can see that probably not i don't want to tip it um but they yeah they're great for that and um you know anytime a plant's roots can get you know more airflow and oxygen to them they're going to grow faster and healthier and it really prevents root rot um what's another benefit to terracotta if you're an overwaterer, it helps because like i said it kind of draws the water away from the roots that's why I use terracotta quite often. I mean, all my plants right now out here are in terracotta. Most of them are. I have a few in ceramic, some that, you know, actually this would probably be fine in ceramic because these are, again, tropical plants and they don't mind being on the moister side of things. Um, but I don't know. I feel like I'm an overwaterer, so I like to just keep my terracotta. Hope that answered your question. I'm gonna use the water it was sitting it sitting in to water it through. Anytime you repot a cutting that has new roots into soil after it's been propagating in water, you really wanna make sure that you keep it pretty moist for the first week or so because it's acclimating to being in soil and if the soil dries out, the roots are gonna be like, where's my water? So in contrary to what I just said about moist feet on plants, when it's a cutting, a new cutting in soil, you really want to make sure that you keep it moist for a little while till it develops a bigger root system and adjusts to being in a dark, deep, dark soil medium. Okay, we're almost moving on to the Monstera. Do you have any more questions? Oh, <laughs> she doesn't have my password. a sneak peek at that question how do you remember all of the names of your plants <laughs> i don't <laughs> the answer is i don't i mean i guess it goes back to like if you're researching a plant and you really want a plant you're kind of looking at the name in a lot of places. You see it on Instagram, you see it in the store, you may put it in your cart, and you go back to it, and you're like, do I want it? You Google it, you find out the care needs of it. So like I'm seeing the names in a lot of different places, so I guess subconsciously I just 
can remember them that way. But there, if you guys go back and watch my houseplant tour, which I'll link in the description below, um, you'll see that I can't remember all the names of my plants because I think we're at over 50 plants now. So, yeah, it's a lot, you know. Anyway, let me get my phone, Mia, because I post on Instagram if anybody has a question. So let's see if anybody asked anything. Okay, you have Instagram pulled up? Okay, hold on one second. Let me get this out of the way. Okay. All right, guys, we are going to go into this Monstera. I'm going to lift it out of this basket. How cool is that? It, like, folds down. Oh, you heavy girl. Okay, we're gonna start by removing this moss pole. If you guys have not seen it, I did a video on this sphagnum moss pole. It's pretty interesting. So if you wanna go check the, that out, I'll link it in, I'll link it either here or below. Instagram questions, ready and go. What are you planning on doing in your yard? In our yard. Good question. We don't really know yet. Um, I don't know how much of the yard you can see, but we have a giant oak tree back here. And I was thinking I had some requests to do some hanging planters. So I was thinking of possibly if I can, hanging some um, planters off of one of the branches up there. I was also thinking we were, my husband had the idea of getting like big planters boxes and putting them in some rocks we have back there so that we kind of have a backdrop for photo shoots for family sessions for maybe the fall. Um, yeah, I'm not sure yet. I know we're definitely gonna have container planters and we'll probably do some more videos on those. But if anybody has any suggestions, leave them in the comment section below because I would love to hear them. Okay, I am going to be aerating the soil here with this. You can use anything, I'm just using the bottom of the sphagnum moss pole because this soil like i said has been in here for about mm, seven months ish and like i said i probably don't have to repot this yet um but i want to because i want to check out this root system and how she's doing in here hey mia is there any more yeah okay have you ever had any bugs bugs funny you ask that um Sorry, the perlite's like dry and it's going all over the place. Um, we saw a couple of fungus gnats in our plants this, this past week actually. I hadn't up until now. So I did crazy research on it and found some ways to get rid of them. Um, I got mosquito bits, so I diluted mosquito bits in water and I watered all my plants because I really didn't know where they were coming from. This one looks totally fine and this is like, one I keep fairly moist. Um, that's the only bug I've ever had is fungus gnats and just recently. And I think it's because it's springtime too. I hear spring and summer is the worst. We're gonna be moving a few of these plants outside too. So that'll help in the house. I'm just hoping that we don't accrue any other bugs by having them outside. Spider mites are another bug that you can get. Um, what's another one, Mia? Spider mites. What's that one that was on your cactus that one time? Oh yeah, that no, that, that wasn't a mealybug. That wasn't a mealybug, we thought it was, but it wasn't, it was just part of the cactus. Um, scale, that's all I can think of because I haven't had any, luckily, knock on wood. This isn't wood, it's fake wood, but we'll knock on it. Okay, so I have this all kind of aerated. You don't want to tug at the plant like I just did. I want to be really careful with it. I think I might need to do this. Actually, I'm going to do it in the grass. Give me one second. The tree just got a whole bunch of soil. <laughs> okay, look at this root system. How does it look, Mia? Look at that. These roots are so white and healthy. So here's the thing. I was going to separate these... I think I'm going to leave it. I think I'm going to repot it in the same planter because I honestly didn't think that the roots were this established. I think this is the perfect pot for it because 
the roots take up a good chunk of this terracotta pot. So I'm just going to give it some fresh soil. I got some of the older soil off that probably the plant already grabbed a bunch of nutrients from. I actually see now that I took it out that I can probably propagate another piece. Okay, I decided I'm not going to because if I cut this one off, it'll kind of make the plant look a little lopsided. I think I'm just gonna let it grow, let it do its thing. All right, I'm gonna put some soil in the bottom here and we are gonna get this baby back in here with this moss pole. Honestly, I don't even think it needs the moss pole right now. I trained some of these leaves to kind of grow upward. So once it starts to fall a little, I'll put it back in. But for now, I think it's fine. All right, Mia, are there any other questions? There's one more question. One more question on Instagram? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Do your dogs attack your plants? <laughs> and do you have a cat? I do not have a cat. Although I love cats. I grew up with cats. My dogs do not. They do not attack my plants. They like to sniff them. Um, but they don't attack them, luckily. I have been watching some videos on, you know, pet friendly plants and I don't have to worry about that because they don't do anything to them. So I'm happy about that. I kind of want to get a cat. My dogs would not be happy with me. My kids would probably. <laughs> my daughter's jumping in the background. It's not happening, Mia. I love seeing everybody's Instagram pages though that like have cats so cute like plants and cats you know like they just kind of go together right dogs and plants not so much even though i try to have my dogs in my videos when i can they're being jerks right now though so they're inside they actually do not go together very well at all <laughs> why is that cats eat all of your plants <laughs> do they really yes hmm that's true because my mom has a cat really jerky cat and um her name's rusty she used to be my cat and now she's not and uh she can't really have stuff inside because rusty will attack it i feel like cats are coming back like it was a dog world for a while and now it's i mean at least that's what i see this plant i thought it was being obedient but it's not it's not being obedient. I might have to put that moss pole back in there. Oh, there you go. Sometimes you just kinda kinda gotta move the soil around a little bit. Stand up. We were just talking about you, babe. My husband just came outside. <laughs> all good things, all good things. I'm just kidding, you're supposed to be like, what did you say? What did you say? <laughs> People asked what we were gonna do with our backyard, and I told them about your planter idea. I'm making a mess. Don't look at the base of the tree over there, babe, because I don't know what happened. It was a ghost. It was a ghost. Oh my gosh, is anybody um, following Harley G? She did a live video yesterday and talked about the ghost in her in her place. Go watch it, I was cracking up. We don't have any ghosts, I don't think. If we did, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> Ghost would win, you know what I'm saying? Except for Charlie. I, don't, I didn't hear what you said, but I will when I edit later. <laughs> what, how does that look, Mia? Babe, good? good? Yeah. Good thing about planting or repotting outside, if you make a mess, don't matter because you're outside. All right, so if you guys want to make this like, or want me to make this like a little segment maybe, like repot with me Friday, Re well, I can't commit to Friday, repot with me Thursday, Monday, leave it in the comment section below because this was kind of fun. Um, 
I know that YouTube also has a live option, but I don't know about going live because then like I got to answer questions while I'm repotting and my hands are all dirty and yeah. Um, but yeah, let me know if you like to see more of these. Make sure you leave them in the comment section below. If you have any, any other ideas, leave them in the comment section below. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I recently just hit 500 subscribers. It's not a lot because some people have tens of thousands, but hey, it's a lot for me. I only started this a couple months ago. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you for all your comments and suggestions and thank you for all your likes. I appreciate it. And thanks for joining me today. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.